This is how to increase the, the pressure on your boiler. Um, now what you're supposed to have is it working about there between just just under a 1 to just to 1.5 is perfect. Obviously it's shown you in green so anything there is okay. When it drops into the red at the bottom then obviously then the boiler should stop working anyway and if you put too much uh, water in at the top then it could blow the, the valve the safety valve so that's dangerous as well so you have to let some of the pressure off so how you do that if you go underneath and have a look underneath here you'll actually see here there is actually uh, where the water comes in if you can just see me finger there that's where the water is actually running so look for something along there and then there's two that you've actually got to open to let the pressure come in so what you do is you turn that one there turn that one there the other water coming in and then the pressure is going up so obviously you don't want it to go up too high so you switch that back switch that up there and there you actually have that it's still in the green area which is safe now one of the reasons why that pressure might be dropped you might have a slight leak among the radiators and also if you've actually got the top of the radiator which is cold then you've got to bleed the radiator to sort of let the air out and then put the pressure back up which I'll show you in a second how to do that. Got a towel rail, well what you might find is that uh, at the top here it's cold and the rest of it's red hot uh, so what what you want to do is actually find where is the top fitting like this that's what you're looking for and basically once you've got the pressure up then just crank that open and basically what will happen is air will come out straight away till you actually come to the, the water comes and then close it, go back to the boiler and reset the pressure so it's at the right level. Now if you don't want to make a mess, there's a fantastic product out of the Clean Easy catalogue which catches the water when it's coming off sideways off radiators and it, all the mess just goes in there. Uh, you can get that below, there's a link to the sort of Clean Easy shop that you can actually get that. So make sure you share this video with your friends, people who want to know, leave a comment how easy you find to do it. It's a little tip, it could save you probably 50 or 60 pound calling out a plumber. If your boiler doesn't work after this, then obviously you've got a fault with the boiler and then you need a plumber.